Across the world, democracies are usually modeled on the British or American practice. There, concession speeches from election losers come easily. Well, not until Donald Trump came in. Even then, the system really offers a losing candidate less of a choice if one really has lost. In America, and I always will. And if you do, then we must accept this result and then look to the future. Donald Trump is going to be our president. We owe him an open mind and the chance to leave. Yeah, in Ghana, the Fourth Republic has witnessed some notable losers in presidential elections, some in office as incumbents or in opposition. Since 1992, like it happens in other democracies, some personalities have found it difficult, either based on evidence or observation, to concede their electoral defeat to the eventual winners. Take Professor Edu Boahin in the first election of the Fourth Republic, raising what some would term to be considerable claims. Why there were some rigging or underhand dealings for the opposition's loss. There are also cases where the results carried on the national scoreboard seem to differ from the ones coming from the constituencies. Some of our supporters went home victorious just to be declared losers on the board. Very often, concession speeches either put the contest or election results in doubt, devoid of credibility, or affirms its free and fairness. In the year 2000, when it was obvious the NDC had lost the election to its nemesis, the MPP, Vice President 10 presidential candidate John Evans Atta Mills, in his calm nature, created no fuss about electoral rigging or skirmishes. People of this country are beginning to appreciate the need for us to forge a strong partnership and develop to the best extent possible the bipartisan spirit that we have in this country. We, on our part, wish you well. To recall, while he was at it, the atmosphere was tensed, with many observers locally and internationally not so sure the Rawlings administration would truly hand over power to John Kofor. Fast forward to 2004, what looked like a more concession statement from Professor Mills, this time was laced with perceived reggae manipulation, backroom underhand dealings and speculations of heading to the courts. By this time, it was obviously becoming a pattern that Ghana's fourth Republican election main losers conceded defeat but would always enumerate how unfair and untransparent the elections were. And so, in 2008, the incumbent party's losing candidates would concede defeat in quoted statements published in the media alongside a lot of tension and uncertainty over the likelihood of a smooth transition. The results of the 2012 presidential election. The big one, though, will be witnessed in 2012. Concession speech, but tinged with well laid out allegations of poll rigging, unfair practices, and lacking transparency. It was after eight months of an election petition to the Supreme Court. As I said earlier, whilst I disagree with the court's decision, I accept it. I accept that what the court says brings finality to the election dispute. We shall not be asking for a review of the verdict so we can all move on in the interest of our nation. Four years later, the incumbent John Dramani Mahama will concede defeat again amid obvious claims of numbers, tampering and backroom games. And we've been able to do all these things because we've always functioned as one nation, one people. In 2020, what should we be expecting from the main losing candidates? More so, how will the concession speech of the main loser be like? Not to talk about if it will come in time to calm nerves of an anxious citizenry.